hi guys welcome to family create hope you're all doing well so i've just received our tick watch pro 5 um, it's a wear os by google and it's from the company mobvoi i've been waiting eagerly to receive this uh, i'm going to unbox this and give you my impression and also set up the watch i'm going to be doing loads of videos on its function and features uh, i'm really excited probably one of the most anticipated watch for myself so far so let's unbox it and um, hold it in my hand and see how it feels so i'll be comparing the watch with our galaxy watch 5 pro also the pixel watch so um i'm really really excited to see uh the difference between the watches look at that that looks really really nice let's take it out the box actually let's just quickly check what else is in the box and then we'll go through the watch so we have a card with um, support information so the processor is snapdragon w5 plus gen 1 rotating crown navigation which i'm really excited about because that's one thing i missed on the watch 5 pro but that's what i love on the uh, pixel watch because it's got the crown instruction manual product safety information we'll have a look at that in a minute And we have a charging cable here. It's different from um, our previous watches. And no um, charging brick supplied with it. So let's take the watch out. My God, that feels really nice. And it's not very heavy either. It feels really good to hold. This is really, really beautiful. I love that that design this is stainless steel and this here is aircraft grade aluminium and at the back here this is plastic and you've got all the sensors here I'll go through it more in detail when I do the actual review but it looks really really beautiful I love the um, silicon uh, band it feels good it doesn't feel sticky like some of the other ones that I've had previously. And then obviously on the other end, you've got quite a lot of holes all the way to the end. So if your hand is small, you've got no worries. You basically probably um, fit small all the way to large. So this here doesn't rotate. It's just the design, but I really like it. The pattern is really lovely. Um, you've got the rotating crown here. Previous tick watches didn't have a crown. They just had two buttons. So this one actually looks really nice. And I love the fact that they've got the red color there. It's just the distinction looks really nice. Um, and then you've got the button here, which is lovely. Looks really nice. I mean, it looks really, really sleek. Uh, I wasn't very keen on black because I had so many black watches. Uh, but this actually, the chrome... Um, dark chrome kind of and the black looks really nice tick watch called the color obsidian um, it's a beautiful color I mean it looks so sleek it would go with any outfit be it um, smart casual or sports um, at the back here we've got obviously the sensors we've got a speaker grill here we've got more sensors here um, here you've got the charging port which is quite different from other watches that I've had this is the charging port that goes here um, so let's try it on and see how it looks that looks nice I must say I really like the watch 5 pro and every time I wear it I take it off because it looks huge on my watch and it just looks out of place but this actually looks nice and it's very similar size to the watch 5 pro um, do you see it's very similar but look at the thickness watch 5 pro is quite a bit thicker than um, tick watch and in terms of size it's very similar but I went and changed the watch um, strap for the Watch 5 Pro because it just looked huge on my hand. Um, 
to make it look a bit smaller. It still looked out of place. But look, look at the difference. Watch 5 Pro still looks huge and quite standing quite high up compared to the Tic Watch. And also, if you look at it, Tic Watch has a bigger screen compared to Watch 5 Pro. Okay, let me try it on. Straps are quite big, but because the hole goes all the way up, whether you're size extra small or extra large, you don't need to change different size straps, just one or two. And under, you can see there's a, like a hook which will push down onto your strap so it won't come off. And then you can just push it down. See, so, that looks nice. I really like that. Okay, let's turn the watch on and then have a look. It's got dual display with interactive and customized ultra low power display. Long battery life, which is fantastic because I'm forever worried about my um, watch losing its charge, especially the Pixel watch. And it has fast charging. So it's fantastic that it's military grade build and it's 580 ATM auto resistant. So it's suitable for um, swimming in the open water. Built in compass, GPS, Pyrometer, uh, one touch measurement and multiple health matrix, which is fantastic. It's got VO2 max for recovery time and 100 plus professional workout mode. So that's fantastic. And it's got 1000 plus watch faces. So um, th surely there must be something for everyone's taste. So I'm really excited and really, really looking forward to uh, playing with the watch now. So let's do this. Take the protective film off. Wow, that looks nice. Let's turn it on. Okay, let's turn this on. So I've got a screen protector already um, for this watch. So uh, I'm going to put that on because I don't want the watch to get scratched. By the way, those of you who may have followed the Tick Watch Pro 5's promotional campaign, Hi5 Pro 5, where uh, Mob Boy was giving away one watch every day worldwide as part of this competition. So the campaign was hashtag high five pro five and this is when they uh, covered London and we entered the competition and won this watch. That's right, we actually won this watch. We entered a couple of times but the last, uh, last day uh, we entered this one and we won it. So yes, it does work. You can win something. And a big thanks to Mob Boy for doing such an amazing campaign and giving so many people the opportunity to win a watch. And thanks for giving us the opportunity to win one as well. And shipping it so quickly because I was not expecting it to be here that quickly. And it's on. We need to pair it with our phone. Okay, let's complete the setting up process. English United Kingdom. Confirm. Then agree. Allow. And it's now connecting. Okay, now that's telling us to continue on the phone. So we'll do the rest here. Done. Continue. Okay, so as you can see, the setup process was very quick and easy and straightforward. I'll skip and set it up later. Continue. It's just setting up with the watch now, so it's done. Watch is starting up. There you go. It's all ready. Okay, let's start with swipes. Okay. 
swipe up for notification and then watch okay notification swipe down for quick setting great from the watch face okay and then swipe from the left edge to go back great okay and then now let's learn about the tiles okay tiles are accessed from the watch face and show helpful info from your app okay swipe left or right to cycle through your tiles okay okay now let's learn about the two buttons okay so press the crown to go back to the watch face okay and you can return to the watch face anytime okay from watch face press the crown for apps okay okay so then you can okay and then press the side button to see your recent used apps okay quite similar to the pixel watch on that okay want to learn a few tips to try later okay okay to switch to your last use app double press on the crown okay okay and then to access the power and restart menu press the hold press and hold the side button okay this one okay 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 and you're a pro okay done great look at that that looks amazing the watch face stands out really nicely and it's got this vibrant crystal clear look to it this is all factory setting so i guess when the brightness is up it will be even more piercing to see it's really really nice wanted to show you the dual screen I guess this is the key to saving the battery and long battery life when you're using it you actually when you do that you can see it comes on a little so you can see you can change colors as well but the key is basically it, you, you get all this information that you would get on your watch face but you get it on this screen which is the dual screen which reflects all the information but at the same time it saves battery so this watch um, is supposed to be on a standard usage um, on, on the watch face. It should The battery should last four to five days. But on this essential mode, um, the amazing thing is the watch can last up to 45 days. So I think this is like, in terms of watch battery, revolutionary. Because I haven't come across a watch that the battery can last that long on one charge. Um, I think most of us who have Pixel do struggle with the battery. Those of us who have Pi Pro, uh, the battery is good. Uh, but the max I think we lasted was three days on full usage. With this Tick Watch Pro 5, um, it's one of the best amongst the Google Wear OS watches. Um, I think it can go to four to five days. So I'd like to try the battery and see how long I can make it last and um, compare it to the 5 Pro. Um, I'll get back to you guys with all the information and the comparisons with the watches. So thank you so much for watching. If you find this video helpful, please do give it a like and support us by subscribing. Until next time, do take care. Bye-bye.